Do we need Evoke blockchain? Our first concern must be whether the traditional database system can meet our case needs. In case it does, we will need fast security transactions, and thus we more we more require the blockchain. Always in the ledger system, there will be many people involved. In the there are not ready to trust a third party and need to keep the data private. Then the best option would be to go for a permissioned blockchain. Permissioned blockchain will also allow to control the permissions in blockchain software. In case redundant copies are required to be safe in multiple distributed computers and do not have the need to keep data private, we could have a public blockchain. Challenges in blockchain. First is initial cost. Second is energy consumption. Third is security. Fourth is privacy. Fifth is public perception. Sixth is integration with legacy system. These are the challenges in blockchain. Identifying a blockchain use case. So we need to understand what kind of use cases could we use for blockchain. It should having business that require blockchain technology to solve it. An identifiable business network. A need for trust. So a blockchain could be used where the verification could be done by consensus algorithm. Healthcare use cases. Patient data management. User agrees to share health data. The health wallet creates a pseudonymous address and stores it as a smart contract on blockchain. It gives permission for certain release under specifications. Researchers wish to access data for each record. They check conditions of smart contracts to determine if the use is allowed. If so, they access the data, record transaction on blockchain, and make micropayment to an individual's health wallet. Health coin payment is converted to money that is either used in the health savings account, HSA, or to purchase medical services. Drug traceability Blockchain can also be used in drug traceability. The manufacturer sends the drugs to the wholesaler. The information is stored on the blockchain and the hash is produced. It sends the drugs to the wholesaler. The wholesaler then verifies the origin of the product. And this transaction is stored on the blockchain. The wholesaler further sends the drugs to the pharmacist and then later verifies the origin of the product again. Like all other transactions, even this transaction is stored on a blockchain. The pharmacist delivers the origin of the product. So that this way the drug could be traced effectively using blockchain. Let's have a look another interesting example. Tax processing. Let's see how tax processing GST without blockchain works. A GST invoice is issued by the seller. Buyer pays the bill with GST. Seller pays to the supplier. Information of payment is recorded on GST portal. Final tax goes to the government. Additional payment is adjusted. So that's how the tax processing works without blockchain. Now we will see how blockchain could be implemented in such a system. During the payment for a good or service blockchain smart contract then calculated the invoice based on the tax amount that is already during in the production process. Smart contract directly transfers the text amount to the tax authority. The refund if any is directly paid to the customer account. Blockchain and land registry. Citizen initiates a request to service hall or notary. Now you can go by the current scenario. The centralized database is used, which has risk of data manipulation. Also, since there is a paperwork is involved, there are chances of risk or loss damage or forgery. But if you use a blockchain-based platform fixing in a chain guarantee of further immutability, and public data can be changed only by the owner. So these are the some use cases in government organization. Blockchain and KYC. Here some blockchain can help in KYC system. Permit for the secure transfer of a KYC verification stamps from one entity to another. It offers highly immutable and detailed audit trail on all actions on KYC files. Centralized blockchain-based KYC. In this arrangement costumer data and documents stored in distributed ledger and bank that perform the KYC stored all the relevant details in generate unique KYC number. In another bank to perform due to persistence on the same number. It can be used the unique KYC number to access the central registry and download customer details from the blockchain.
Blockchain and Trade Finance By applying blockchain technology to trade finance technology infrastructure company could be reduce the complexity and increase efficiency in large scale. Here is the blockchain can be implemented in trade finance. The agreement of sale between the importer and the exporter is shared with the import bank using a smart contract on the blockchain. In real time the import bank will have capability to review the purchase agreement, drafts terms of credit and submits obligation to pay to the export bank. The export bank will review the provided payment obligation and hence proved a smart contract will be generated on the blockchain to cover terms and conditions and lock in obligations. After receiving the obligation the exporter will digitally sign blockchain equipment within the smart contract to initiate shipment. Custom agent inspect the goods and their action will have a digital signature of approval on the smart contract. During transit goods will be transported from country A to country B. Upon delivery the importer will digitally acknowledge receipt of goods and trigger payment. Using provided acknowledgement Smart contract will automate payment from the importer to the exporter via a smart contract. Next we have blockchain in mortgage industry. Blockchain in mortgage industry. Here is the blockchain can prove in the system. The process flow from more digital is given in the steps below. 1. Buyers apply the property duration to mortgage solution. 2. Property duration report is validated according to business rules using smart contracts and smellier to mortgage industry. 3 mortgage solution forces the request on the buyer. 4. Buyer applies for loan to the bank. 5. Bank request the generation of the report from title search and ministry municipality. 6. Mortgage smart contract redirect the request automatically to the respected parties. A Title search report is created and submitted back to the mortgage solution. B catch report is prepared and submitted to the mortgage solution. 7. Smart contract checks the reports and imported to the bank. 8 if all the condition is valid the bank approves the loan. 9 buyer and seller sign the required agreement. 10. Agreement are submitted to the bank. 11. Sales processed and load is dispersed to the seller bank. 12. Seller's bank credits the seller account. Blockchain in loan management. The use of blockchain technology allows much faster approval for loan applications. The user credit score pre-checks in bank statement might become less important to approve a loan. That is the availability of smart contract lender are able to authorize transactions confirms at the legitimate users. administration task from time to time making a cost effective and accelerating the process blockchain in energy markets blockchain facilitates secure transaction of power between individuals on a distributed network to do not have existing relationship grid is based on an open source cryptographically secure the centralized application factor all energy transaction are locked Consumers generate power beyond their needs imperial into the grid using blockchain smart contracts automate agree trading relationships commercial transaction are orderable improving trust carbon tax collected directly from appliances with home energy management blockchain and travel lock trip it is a blockchain empower marketplace with property owners can rent their property globally collect money and marriage booking without payment any commission to middlemen blockchain and travel industry has also revolutionized the way hotel booking payment work by not giving any commission to the hotel or third party vendor the blockchain would be a decentralized system and it would be free to use thus using the cause an additional overheads blockchain and supply chain Let's have a look at the traditional approach of order placement. In a traditional approach of placing order the following steps on involved. Customer places an order on the website. A member of the sales team receives the order and dispatches it to the shipping department. The shipping clerk picks the order and proceeds for shipment. Your order gets boxed and shipped to your address. Customer gets satisfied and submits the product review on the website. Now comes the blockchain in supply chain. 
Introducing blockchain smart contracts in supply chain modifies the traditional ecosystem of transfer goods from the wholesaler to retailer and then to the user. The transaction of supplier order invoice and shipment would be stored in the blockchain database, which makes it tamper-proof and a secure way of managing shipment. Key takeaways You are able to Identify the use cases of blockchain in healthcare industry. Identify the use cases of blockchain in government organizations. Identify the use cases of blockchain in finance industry. Identify the use cases of blockchain in other industries worldwide. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe our MTH Network channel to know more about blockchain.